Hey everybody, it's Crazy Even Carol. How you doing? Today I have an unboxing from Amazon.com. So this package took quite a long time to get here. Um, if you saw my last video, which was about the um, missing link puzzle, I actually ordered this puzzle the same time I ordered the missing link. Um, and this one took so much longer to get here. Um, and also, uh, when you shake it, it kind of sounds a little broken, so... Let's hope that's not the case. Okay, so here is the puzzle. Um, this is actually called a Whip It puzzle. And it turns out it's not broken, it's just the keychain and the puzzle is extremely loose. So, this is more of a mini unboxing because this is a pretty uh, simple and small puzzle, but I just thought about getting it because for some reason I've always wanted one and I thought I would get a sort of different type of puzzle than your average, you know, twisty puzzle. So this is essentially the same concept as um, like a missing link puzzle. It's basically a combination of a sliding puzzle and sort of a twisty puzzle. So these three um, parts of the cylinder slide around and then there's one empty space where you can slide the tiles up and down. And basically the goal is to get one solid color on every single sort of opening. Now this puzzle came scrambled so I'm not really sure if there's a specific color scheme or anything like that. Uh, so I guess I'll just do my best to try and solve it from here. Alright, I am back and I have solved the puzzle. It didn't take that long to solve at all, but um, just after solving it once I can tell that I really don't like this puzzle that much. Um, first off, it just feels super cheap. Like, I feel like if I were to squeeze it hard enough, it would smash into a gazillion pieces. Also, the keychain does get in the way, but I was kind of expecting that when I bought it because I knew that when I first purchased it that there was a keychain on it. Another thing that's kind of confusing is that I don't know the specific color scheme, so for all I know this could be wrong, but I have a feeling that it doesn't really matter that much um, just because you have to know that white has the empty space and that's about it. I think you could do... Uh, any combination possible. However, I'm not 100% positive about that, um, so I guess I'll just solve it a couple times later on and just see if I can do it with any color combination. I didn't mention it before, but the first thing I noticed about this puzzle is that it's super small, uh, just a lot smaller than I expected. I thought it'd be like maybe this big, um, but it's super tiny. It just fits into my hand. Um, so yeah, that was a little unexpected. Overall, this puzzle, I would say, is just kind of average. The actual quality of this puzzle isn't spectacular. Um, also, it's sort of just your normal sliding puzzle, um, and there's not really anything special about it or unique. If you guys want any sort of follow-up video um, to this one about this puzzle, uh, like a tutorial or something, uh, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. So all in all, I really wouldn't recommend this puzzle, but if you do want to purchase it, I will leave a link in the description box down below. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Even Carol. Bye!